For 3D part 1 you were asked to create this search screen which you did. Part 2 was the test data and part 3 was to get the report working which you've done using a query. There are three things that still need to be done with this screen. One of them is validation and this first tutorial for 3D part 4 is going to look at how to create the validation rule. The reason we've left these until now is because they don't need to be shown until you show the evidence which is for 3D part 4. So you've got to have a look in, you've got to think what validation rule could you use. We could have a validation rule that means the minimum hours per week must be greater than zero or at least one. Uh, we could also have a validation rule that means the minimum charge per hour must be less than the maximum charge per hour or even the other way around. That the maximum charge per hour must be at least the same size as the minimum charge per hour. So we'll have a go at that one. So if we double click on this, we get to see its properties. And if we go to data, this is where we can set the validation. So what we're going to do is set a validation rule here that says this must be at least the same size as the minimum charge. There we go, it's come up with min charge because it's one of our uh, uh, controls that we've uh, named. Now, we do need to customize this so that uh, an error message appears that is appropriate. So I'm going to put an error message here saying the maximum charge must be at least uh, the minimum charge or higher. Now when you come to evidence this you can screenshot this by extending this out a little bit and you'll be able to show the whole thing. Make sure that this bit is showing as well. Uh, but it's also useful that when you screenshot it, you test it. So let's have a look at this. Let's put in here a charge of £15. 15 should be accepted because it says at least. But 14 shouldn't be accepted and it comes up with an error message. And again, I would recommend that you screenshot this part here to show the input data that you've put and the error message that appears. So that's the validation rule. And the next uh, video tutorial will look at getting the button working.